Hi, Sisrin here with a very different video than normal. So EVE Online reached out and wanted to sponsor me to showcase their game. Some of you already know this, but EVE Online actually used to be my main game before Path of Exile, before I became a streamer. So it's a game I have 14,000 hours in. So I was pretty excited to do that. So I reached out to people that I used to play with and we put something together. So in the first part of this video, we're going to be looking at what kind of playstyles you have in EVE Online, what you can do as a player, because the game is very different from a lot of other games, and there's not that many space MMOs. After that, we're going to be fitting a ship out in my arsenal, and I'm using the account that I used to play on. So we were taking some fit suggestions from my friends, because the game has changed quite a lot. It's been lots of years since I played. And uh, yeah, we were preparing for what we needed to go and find a fight, using filaments which is basically it teleports you to a random part in space i was basically doing the fleet commanding with a, a guy that joined us having a lot of fun killing people in space and if you aren't familiar when you die in eve online you lose your ship so as we always say don't fly what you can't afford to lose there's timestamps as well for the video so i hope you enjoy it So we are actually going to be playing with some friends of mine that I used to play with back in the day. I figured we would open with some story time and tell a little bit about EVE Online. Hal Soy, Ross, and Pretore, who are some of my best friends that I played EVE with, and they were in my corporation where I was the leader. Let's see, I can... I don't own this character anymore. You can actually sell and buy characters in the game to other players on their forums. This is actually my bio still. The person that I sold this to didn't change it. Um, I started in 2007 and I played until 2013-14. So it was a, quite a large part of my life for a long time. I want to show off the like different things from the trailers of what you can do in the game. I've always loved sci-fi. And the idea of being so this right is the on explorer. the edge of discovery and, and front. So this is like traveling to like wormholes and stuff like that. And you can see the graphics have gone up quite a bit since when I was playing. Tears of space. And doing exploration in EVE allows me to do I did moon mining for all my money. And I had a sacrilege BPL. use cloaking devices. Probes to scan down unknown parts of space. I'm loving the story to time. to places in like space it. which are dangerous and unknown. Um, and and while, while we're watching this, we are about to start playing with some of the people that I used to play with back in the day. Discover this. valuable ancient relics from long dead civilizations. You could even go What's into that? wormholes, which take you into unknown parts of space. You could see a pulsar or a magnetar putting out waves, a furious black hole with a massive glowing red event horizon around it. And it really reminds you of where you are in space and how far away you are from the recognizable surroundings of your, of your home system. It's an incredible feeling and you just feel like you're living on the edge of space right on the frontier. And there's always the threat of being discovered by another player who might be out hunting explorers. And even if you do get discovered, even if you are spotted, the feeling of achievement and the feeling of narrowly missing a, a sticky Remember end that one is one of the first ships I bought, that one. That threat is what makes it a challenge. Actually, it was the first ship I bought. A lot of what I've done in EVE is just following content that presents itself because of what I've chosen to do. It's Pretty all much. part of exploration. It's not knowing what kind of profession it's going to lead me to or what kind of activity it's going to inspire me to follow. It's perfect to give you a taste of, of what Eve's got to offer. And then you have industrialist as well. So that's like crafting, which is super realistic. Um, if you've ever heard people say that Evil Nine is spreadsheets, Industrialist actually is. So playing the game normally, you don't need spreadsheets at all. Industrialist, this is actual spreadsheets. So if you like really techno stuff and like working out profit margins, where to buy, where to sell, and transporting things around, that is actually this. Uh, people will say, tell you, I have to do spreadsheets to play the game, but that's not true. Is it free or do I have to play Omega to do anything worthwhile? So it's free to try and you can do like small stuff, but to do most things worthwhile, you will need an actual Omega subscription. Absolutely. But free accounts are still very useful. You can still be part of um, a fleet. And even if you play for free, you can do 
very useful things. So the way the game works is that when you're in combat, you can just freely warp away, right? It's space. However, you have something called a warp disruptor and you can have that on a small ship. So even though you're in a, even if you've just started playing and you've been playing for a week, you can be the reason that a big ship can't get away from combat and ends up being killed by using a warp disruptor. And there's things called faction warfare, like high security fighting, uh, which is really fun. But it is an MMO. You're obviously incentivized to actually have a running subscription. You are going on somewhere in the universe that always reflects on the markets. I gave it back. Which makes people like me happy because we're the one making money off it. Oh, I'm so what you see here, these are Titans. So they are all, to put it into a dollar value, if you had to buy this with game time codes, like they're like eight to 15,000 or something. Like they're, they're, they're expensive ships. It'll take you, it takes most people years to grind these. Also, unless it's changed, crafting one of these takes 380 days of real life time that needs to be undisrupted without somebody attacking it. Feel free to call me out if anything's changed because it is a long time, but they do take literally a year where you cannot get attacked. Isn't it three months? Oh, maybe they have shortened it, but at least back then it would be a full year where you cannot get attacked or they will destroy your baby. Money off it. I'm the CEO of a industrial corporation in EVE Online. We're a five-man operation, and we specialize in manufacturing and delivering fully fitted ships in bulk. After huge battles where people lose, you know, thousands of ships, then the next day what they're doing is now. they're reshipping, right? This is where my corporation comes in. When we receive an order from a client, the first thing we do is separate everything, we analyze it, we look at all of the ship hulls, all of the rigs, the ammo, the modules, and then everybody just gets to work. Some of us are going to be specialized in mining or keeping an eye on the stockpiles. I love and these killing primary resources people that do mining. will be picked up by someone else to refine into components that you can start using for manufacturing. And I, I did itself, a decent so amount of this, what they're talking about. Researched and ready to be used for production. It's a special kind of fun setting up the entire process from... This sounds like a job. This part, this part is very job-like, yeah. This, this part is very job-like. And, and this, it really is like a second life, really. The raw minerals to the finished product. But imagine an alliance of thousands of people that needs to Refit and Your ad is free. working. I'm intrigued they to try this game, and I know say, I want this. It's a very fun game. And it just gets delivered to their doorstep. One of the most magical things in EVE is there's so many different ways Fresh to play life. and different things to do that it, it can appeal to completely different people. So pretty now. I think what makes industrialists different is they're, they're not driven by conflicts. They're on the other side of the coin where they, they find their enjoyment in providing something for other people what they do is absolutely key for everything else that happens in the universe like there would be no combat if there was no ships being built <laughs> yeah. looks awesome now yeah the only thing i feel that old sino is unbeatable i love the old sinusaural field effect i don't know if we can find a video of the old one but the one that was like super elongated and oh my god, the little thud when people were coming in, nothing beat that. Can you be a true industrialist and just own stuff and let other people work? Oh yeah, absolutely. You can literally do anything in an even line. Like these have like titles, like like classes, and it makes it seem to be classes, but that's not really how the game works. That's just like to make it easier for new people to understand. You can do everything. Eve to me is basically freedom. It's a giant open universe. It's very open. You can do whatever you want. You can have really relaxed, slow paced stuff where you can take it easy. Or you can oh, be- Oh, the planet stuff is new. I have no idea how that works. On the edge of your seat, shaking, making split second decisions. This is Eve. You know, it's a crazy universe where anything can happen and however you want to do it, huh. go for it. Well there. I would describe myself as a kind of a freedom fighter. My very first character was a Mimitar character because they just seemed like the coolest, you know, most brutal people. And I was like, I want to be that guy. 
I started out doing the the missions in high sec and I want to be on the side of the people who are fighting against the oppression, against the bad guys. And once I learned that you can basically help them and fight the other factions, that was, you know, that's all I wanted to do. Ships are close by. They are. It's a very satisfying feeling, you know, starting out at the bottom and working my way up, getting to more advanced, you know, situations, bigger ships, bigger enemies, and all that kind of cool stuff. That's value, right? It's a very wonderful game. The ship that I wanted to sit in more than anything was the Paladin, which is the Amarian Marauder. It was red and gold, and it had the lasers, and it, you know, massive firepower, incredible capabilities, yeah, and I wanted to sit in that thing, I wanted to fly, I wanted to undock. It's like a project, and you're kind of putting the pieces together by getting the skills ready for the ship and all the modules. You've got to get the money to afford it. You know, you've, you've got a dream that you want, and that ship basically is the dream. And once you finally get into it, there's no greater feeling. So I was love struck when I sat in that thing and undocked. And Is there a new player guide you can recommend? I don't recommend watching any guides. I recommend joining Eve University. That's what I did. They literally have people that are dedicated to teaching you the game. They, 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 you literally have classes, you play with them, and they teach you the game. That's how I learned the game, and I became one of the best people. You know, with that ship, like I type on anything. There's so many different forms of PvE that trying to wrap your head around it, you know, you got a ton to do. That is what I've inspired my path It's just a matter of going out and whatever fits your play style, whatever you feel is the best thing to go after. Basically, just jump. Are you starting a new account today? No, I, I have my account still. I'm gonna play on my normal one. Into whatever catches your attention. It's That's a huge idiot. universe. There's a lot in it. Get out there and try and then, it. Oh, so this is like zero zero PVP. That's what we're gonna be doing today. I think is basically what they're showcasing in this video. When I first started Eve, just tell Rich, I gave away almost all of my stuff to people that were gonna keep playing the game. So I have some stuff left, but not a lot. I gave away almost everything. I was a minor, and I was really tired of getting I grown really, up by I people to all the time. To on the university. So I decided, instead of being the hunted, I would become the hunter. Yeah, I did the same with the theory. My favorite role is to be a Lodgy pilot. I really enjoyed the idea of being the god of the battlefield, be in charge of deciding who lives and who dies. Oh. The main reason that we hunt, we're looking for the good fight. True. There's no fun in having 25 people destroying one ship. That's a lie. It's a lot more exciting when you know that there's 40 other people, two jumps out, and they want to kill you. You can go down in history with an epic fight that you were completely outnumbered in sick. and came out on top. I don't want fair PvP, I just want to kill people. So as soon as you land in enemy space, the first thing that the fleet commander does is looks for a target. So you want to see what options Small you have the out best. there to fight. Who's here? Who can I kill? The excitement that comes with it's trying to minor. lock everyone that's taking damage. You're constantly cycling between ships, getting locked and shot at. The more ships they bring, the more we can kill. I keep coming back to EVE Online because it's allowed me to create my own story that and who so I want to cool. be in the game. I'm able to map wormholes, I'm able to hunt people, and I'm able to spy if I want to. You get to decide if you're going to be the good guy or the bad guy on a daily basis. It's ruthless. It's EVE. We were the good guys, right? Did you see the new Titan? No, please show me. This is a Titan. Pirate Faction Titan, Azerial class. That's so cool. Right. 
I can't remember what this can fly. I only used it to fly my Phoenix mostly. Ah, skill catalog. Right, can I fly? Okay, I can. Oh, I know I can fly a scorpion. I used to fly a falcon on this. So what I would do is I would be multi-boxing. So I would normally fly a rapier, a falcon, and then on my third account, um, I would normally fly either an absolution with a cloak or I would fly curse. Pilgrim. So I can't fly anything Alente. I guess that's a pretty clear cut. Can't fly anything Minmatar. I can fly... Oh, I can fly a Curse or a Pilgrim. Do I do that? Do I do a Pilgrim? I can probably fly anything Kaldari. Well, except a Titan. Oh, Tengu is pretty good. The problem with Pilgrim is I didn't usually use this character for Amar. This was mostly a Kaldari character. Simulate ship. Let's see. What would it... What... What would I need to put in that I might not have the skill points to fly? What are the leech, like the drainers called? Right, you would normally do... Can I fit Nos? I can, right? You, you're right, I do want neutralizers. I think I have every everything. Maybe I fly a pilgrim then. Copy to in-game notepad. Oh. Oh, so I can like... Simulate his fit. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, that's so handy. Thanks. Click it, buy all, fit to ship. Is there anything here that I can't fit? It would tell me, right? I got you. Thank you, dude. Thanks, Russ. Weapon disruption four. What needs weapon disruption four? The tracking disruptor? But I don't need that. If that's the only thing. I mean, I could put on an ECM or something instead. Although ECM changed a lot, right? Swap the weapon disruptor for a non-tech 2 one. Is this an armor pilgrim? What was the other one? Oh, that this one has active repair. That might be better for what we're doing if we're not going to have anyone have remote repair. Oh, this might be better. I should be good now. How do I bookmark in space? I can't even remember how to do that. Control B, I think. Okay. Huh. Okay. I'm going to do old school comms. Uh, Jester. Yes, sir. Uh, you need a, you need a, you need a better overlay. Can I get somebody else's somehow? Is that a thing now? Yeah, yeah, so, uh... Oh. Where is the closest low sec, actually? Man, uh, I just, like, probably remembered, remembered F10 was the map. Or no. If we're gonna film it, we can just do it from here. Can we? Yeah, yeah, we did it from high sec last time, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can just have everybody come here, then. Okay. Warp out. Oh, that's handy. Wow, that's so... Man, they have it good now. They have it good nowadays. Look at our little ships. So you can really see the size difference here. And curses. Very small ship, and then we have some bigger ships. We don't have any large what? ships, though. So if, if you haven't done so yet, remember to set the uh, the default distance from the orbit and keypad distance to something that's actually useful other than uh, 500 meters or 1,000, whatever they're at. Yeah, let's see. What am I going to have it at? What is... My optimal range is 20 kilometers. I guess I'll put my orbit at 17,000 then. What's the new range? Because I think you don't get 20. range bonuses on the Pilgrim. 20. Chris can go to 40. Okay. Plus me, that's 11. All right, I think Nasty we're ready. Just three subscribes Nasty, for 41, 41 months. Uh, give me a boss. Yeah, we're ready. Can, can you just anchor on Nef? That will be way easier. Uh, the server fleet. Yeah, everybody orbit Nef at 500. Got 6k range. Uh, iFoxy has Boy. safety on still. Oh, it works. Epic. Ooh. That's so cool! How do I open my scanner again? Kind of um, should be V. Maybe. Oh God! Left. Or... There's a lot of people in local. Yeah, we're in <laughs> It's uh. 
Oh wow. More We're fucked. Into a Vexor, maybe we can start a fight. Okay. What? Okay. Um. Everybody align. Wait, what? What? Where was that? It's favorite? a PL drive. So okay, everybody warp, warp to Nith. Warp drive active. I am tackled. Okay, we should. If we want content, we should just put our stuff on him and not shoot him, and wait for our response. Ah, uh, I think there's too many people in local to do that. I think we like kill here and then sure. move on. Don't move, so don't move. Let's hit him run, man. Let's hit him run. Okay. Will my drones attack on their own? Yeah, they should do. Okay, orbit yeah, like. But they're... Drones are wonky. You want to spam F, basically. F? That's a, yeah, F is a attack command for drone. Okay. Once they are deployed. Okay, full damage on the Vexor. He's scrambled. He's not going anywhere. I have already made a safe spot in space that we go to afterwards and then we find a way out of here. Because I don't really... We, we know nothing about this space or where we are. Okay, drones back in. Drones back in. And uh, he has walked. Okay, grab his loot if somebody can. Just waiting for my drones. Oh, we actually don't have like a routing system. I think these are renters. I think they won't be very hard. To I mean, you can see. Um, I'll let you know when I've landed. Uh, align. Um, I don't know how to. There, there's no, no point no, to it. Align. I'll let you know when I land and you can warp to me. Maybe have me be the wing commander so that I can squ uh, wing warp people. You can warp, warp to, to you can warp to you mid while you're yeah. still in mid warp. Oh, so. okay. Everybody warp to me now. Just right click LT gesture and warp to me. Yeah, we just killed a random person. So that guy lost his ship and everything. Or not. Everybody exactly. align to the Y dash Y gate. So click that and then click align too. Oh, like one jump uh, further down you basically. Okay. Let me know when you're in YY and what that looks like. We just killed the wrong guy, apparently. But, um, billion dollar bounty on our head. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, what? <laughs> We're making money, boys. We got a bounty on our head? Oh, there's a giant. Uh... Oh, there's a station here. It's, yeah. it's, it's miles away. It's miles okay. away. Yeah, that's, not, the, that's not Everybody a normal station, jump. though. That's like a. I forget what they're called. Citadel. Jump in, yeah. jump in, jump in. Okay, everybody, once you come through the other gate, click the 75C gate and click align. Align to the 75C gate. It's a keep star. How many people are here? No one. Um, there's a current space. Like, we basically landed in the only LA system in this region. We got pretty unlucky. Ah. Yeah, uh, worst case, if you see someone on gate, like, just chill. Like, just don't decloak and uh, we'll come help. Jump on contact and then align for the next gate. Oh, you were top damage. You were top there's damage. There's a pro racer on the gate here, but, you know. They're following us. Right. Are you in the next system? Yeah, I'm in the. I'm jumping. Jump, jump. Okay. Um. Honestly, they might jump after us. We could reapproach the gate. But I, I, shit. I guess we don't have anything fast enough to catch them here, right? Or do we still have? Uh, the cruiser, about? maybe. Yeah. Reapproach the gate. Uh, I'm reapproaching. I'm reapproaching. Reapproach the gate. Let's see. Oh, they have a. Is that a catch bubble? They do have a catch bubble. If war, you warp, oh, never mind. Saber is already gone. Fuck. Uh, they are trying to catch us, so I think. Grab that flycatcher. Okay, to get, grabbing it. It's muted. If we web it, bump it off the gate, bump it off the gate, bump it off the gate. All damage, all damage. Oh, we got it. Damage is on. All damage is on. It's dead. We killed him. Good job. Good job. Uh, there's there's a fleet landing on. Uh, we should uh, save up. They have like. Uh, okay. I've got, I've got to call, got to kill Mali. Okay. Maldiction, maldiction. Kill, kill. No, 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 no. Can we go sun? Go sun. Double click sun, please. Double click sun. 
Everybody double click the. Uh oh. Micro on and get away. Double click yeah. sun. Go towards the oh, sun. This is, a big fight. this is a big fight. Double click sun, run away. Clear the flag cutter. Move out of the bubble, go towards the sun, go towards any of the planets. Okay, he's gone. I'm whip Everybody scrammed, I'm down. Everybody get yeah. safe. Burn out, burn out, burn out, burn out. They did the uh, Ansi uh -oh. Blex maneuver. Oh, I'm being killed. Shit, yeah, uh, try to get ah. out of bubbles and work on I am. Um... I'm dead. Very dead. I'm dead. Oh shit, is everyone dead? Yep. Oh yeah. I am primary. <laughs> I'm very dead. There's so many of them, there's like 30. <laughs> well, that's a big fleet. Uh -huh. A lot of Osprey Navy issues. Yeah, so there's also these things called Ansiblexes, which is basically a gate that can you can connect two systems in your own space, uh -huh. and uh, they're a bit strong. Oh, and so that's what they did? To, yeah, like, PvPers are kind of trying to get them nerfed, but yeah, they basically just take a gate, right, and they have, like, seven tackle ships, and it's, like, not really fightable. Fine. Right. Yeah. You're still alive, Nith? Uh, yeah. If okay, does anyone really want their ship? Uh... Enjoy me getting fucked, dude. That was nice, though. At least we got a little fight, okay. even though there was much we could do there. It was, was thirty fun. people. Yeah, that was fun. It's been a while. I'm gonna move back to the Dixie, and we have a link in the description to play Eve Online. You can start a character with one million skill points to kickstart your own space story today. And then you can explore how big the space of EVE Online is. You can become an industrialist, a CEO, or partake in some big scale PVP battles out there and see what the game has to offer. And it really has a lot.